If you're a PC owner on Windows 10, you might want to listen up. Windows 10 support ends completely in just a few more weeks. If you're still against Windows 11 and don't want to switch, let me influence you. I just want to say I had to pry myself away from Windows 10, so if you're still against Windows 11, I understand, but here are the top three things that you should know if you're looking to switch. First thing is voice typing. If you click Windows H anywhere where there's a text field, it will open up this little mic here. This is kind of like the Apple feature talk to text, where if you click on the mic, you can talk and then it texts and listens to you. Again, anywhere where there's a text field, if you click Windows H, it will open up this little mic. When we click this, it says listening. It will literally put in everything we're saying. And if I stop talking here, it'll update. There we go. There's the updated thing. This is really helpful for notes, emails, or writing in Discord when your hands are full. I honestly love this feature in Windows 11. If you're a content creator, writing scripts with this is like so nice because you can just say it how you would say it on, you know, video and it'll write the script for you. Very cool. Secondly, if we go into our Windows setting here and type in live captions, it will bring up this thing that allows you to have live captions across your entire desktop. I currently have that set up, so now, no matter what I'm doing, calling, music, videos, whatever, it will live translate it completely on your entire system, so that's so cool. This command can also be entered by hitting Windows Control and then ugh, L. The last reason I think you should update is because it's updated. Like, it's an updated version of Win- that's self-explanatory. In my opinion, I prefer the better UI. I like the taskbar. There is some things you're gonna have to get used to, but if you have a newer gen PC, it might even run better on that PC than Windows 10. Like, some of the things you're gonna have to get used to is navigating to settings can be a little complicated. One of the things down here, I hate this menu. This menu here, I do not like it, but you just get used to it over time. If this influenced you to switch, let me know, and if not, I don't blame you, because it took me a long time to switch to Windows 11, and now that I have, it's growing on me.